Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Are you ready for day one of Disney? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading to Animal Kingdom this morning. We've got our fast passes for Avatar Flight of Passage, which I'm super excited for because I've never been on it before. And let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have our three first-time riders going on Expedition Everest. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> she just left! <laughs> Okay, we just conquered the mountain. How do we feel? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> just kidding. Okay, we just finished Expedition Everest. Twice, I rode it twice. Once. Annalisa rode it once, and Judy rode it twice. But it's so good. One of my personal favorite rides in Animal Kingdom. And now we're gonna go ride the safari and see some animals. <laughs> yeah, Judy? Which one are you most looking forward to seeing? All of them. All of
Okay, Judy, how was the safari? It was great. What was your favorite animal you saw? Oh, um, probably the lion. The lion, yeah. Maybe the elephant. What about you, Annalisa? What was your favorite? The baby giraffe. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. USA. I want to go ride the dinosaur ride. Yay! Go see some dinos, Judy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the it's the like smoke or whatever they use for special effects. It smells like you're in a microwave. Oh, <laughs> masks don't help. Yeah, no. It's fun to ride once, but Indiana Jones and Disneyland is like the same thing and it's better. <laughs> Okay, so now since we've ridden dinosaur, we're gonna head over to Pandora. It's almost time for our fast pass for Flight of Passage, which I have never been on before, nor have I seen Pandora. <laughs> None of us have, but I'm excited. I've heard it's like Soren, but different. So we'll Maybe. see. We'll see. You never know, eh? We'll let you know in a moment. Yeah. Who knows? It's just like crazy here. 
For lunch, we ate at Satuli Canteen and we tried the cheeseburger pods. This was the dessert, the blueberry cream cheese mousse. And then we also ordered the crispy tofu. Here's a look at the inside of the bao buns and the dessert. We really enjoyed the crispy tofu and the dessert the best. The cheeseburger bao buns have mustard and pickles in them, which are not two of my favorite things to have on a hamburger, but still it was fun to try and I recommend trying it at least once. Festival of the Lion King. It was so good. There's not enough so fire. Good. Not enough. <laughs> Need more fire. You, you better go talk to the fire dancer about that, Paula. I'm gonna let him know. Give him your feedback. <laughs> Next time I want two fires. Two. Let's go. <laughs> two or none, man. You better breathe fire halfway through. <laughs> I want there to be explosion. Yeah. I want more. More. <laughs> he was probably the best part of that. He was though. good. Yeah. I mean, all of the performers were really good, but I really enjoyed the the fire guy. I agree. He was great. We're gonna go get coffee now because we're having our mid-afternoon slump. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna see what kind of delicious beverage we can find. We stopped at one of the Joffrey stands to grab a cold brew. Uh, we tried to save a little bit of time by choosing that over a Starbucks, although the quality of the coffee was not as good, although Starbucks is not my favorite either. After that, we headed over back to Pandora because the Navi River Journey Ride was only about a 30 minute wait. Okay, so we just got off Navi River Journey. What did you think? It was beautiful, but short. Yeah. Judy? It was really good. I just expected it to be longer. I agree. That I think the one on animatronic they have on there is good, but everything else is just kind of like meh. And again, it's, it's, it's a good after lunch float down the river. Agree. <laughs> Like, but again, we like where's the storyline? I guess they made the rights for people who like really love Pandora movies, like the movie they, itself. They must. I've never really seen them, so. Yeah, I, I've seen it once and was not impressed with it, but I think it was fun to ride both rides at least once. Yes. I don't think I would ride River Journey for like more than a 30 minute wait ever. Not and I don't think, I think I would ride Flight of Passage with a Fast Pass only and that would be it. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. For me. But good to ride both ones and I think the land itself is beautiful. It's so pretty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would like to start a petition for what? dumplings and french fries to be available anywhere and everywhere. Agreed. That's pretty good. Literally one of my new favorite combinations. We're gonna go ride Everest again now. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to Woo! hit I'd like to hit five rides, but I don't think it's gonna happen. We can hit five. We, we can, can we hit five? If we run, we can do it. If we run. If we run. <laughs> okay. Get off the train and walk. It'll be Go. like the first time I ever went to Disneyland and we were over <laughs> at the other park and it was Tower of Terror, but it was converted to Guardian of the Galaxy. Oh yeah. And it was my first time ever running. We showed up early in the morning and we just got on ran out of the building <laughs> Again. I Circle. Did it it was awesome. I love it. Let's go conquer the mountain. So spoiler alert, I only made it on a total of four times for the whole time I was at Animal Kingdom. Although I feel like four is a pretty good track record to have to ride Expedition Everest. 
After that, we stayed in the park just to see Pandora at night because everybody raves about how beautiful it is. So we got off Everest and then walked over there to check it out. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, Caitlin's over morning. here. We're getting ready for the day. We're gonna head to Epcot today. I'm mostly excited just to eat at the Food and Wine Festival. Not really the rides. <laughs> <laughs> but we did get a fast pass for Remy today, so we get to ride that. Judy, do you have a ride you're most excited to ride? The food booth. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen. Frozen. What about you, Annalisa? Food. Food. Caitlin, do you have a favorite ride you're looking forward to today? I don't know what's there, so food. <laughs> sounds, sounds good. I want to see the manatees. Oh, yeah, the manatees are great. Oh, man, that's today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're manatee rehabilitation centers at the Did Seas you with you. No. No. Oh. You but just they said they names. Mm -hmm. They name them. Mm -hmm. oh. They're so cute. <laughs> They're real cute. <laughs> because we stayed on property at Disney World, you can get into the park a little bit earlier than everyone else who stays off property. So we headed in and then headed over to Soren to try to get that one uh, checked off our list before there were too many people in the park because usually the wait time jumps right off to 70 minutes right after the park opens. Manatees are my favorite animal, so I always love to stop by the rehabilitation center and say hello to my friends uh, while I'm visiting the seats with Nemo and friends. with Nemo and friends. Well, and sharks. And sharks. And manatees. Yes. Uh, Soren Around the World is fun, but I still miss Soren over California. I was so upset when they took that one away. <laughs> Same. <laughs> so now we're going to head back to ride Remy, the new ride, and see the new area. Yeah. Yeah. 
The new addition to the France Pavilion where Remy's Ratatouille adventure is is so beautiful and so amazing. I'm so glad I got the opportunity to see it and enjoy the ride. I love that they kept the majority of the ride in French just as like a heads up sneak peek for you guys who haven't ridden it yet. I think it made the whole experience of riding it and enjoying it feel super immersive and authentic. Riding Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, we started uh, to enjoy the Epcot Food and Wine Festival here in France. We started off with the three cheese beignets and then enjoyed the Coq Oven, the Grand Marier Creme Brulee, and then finally the Passion Fruit Frozen Martini. Food booth number one was France. Focus. Okay. Item number one, the beignet. How do you feel? Because you and I shared that. It was good. I prefer sweet beignets over savory. I would agree. It was definitely different. I don't think I would crave it all that often. I did enjoy the texture of the bread. It was like yeah. something completely different than what I had ever tried in the past. Um, the creme brulee was great. Yeah. I would have liked a little bit of a thicker crust on the top though. Agreed. Yeah. I'm wondering the, that's where, like, when you uh, out of the creme brulee, it's cracking, it's cracking the top. Yeah, the exactly. Top. The martini slushy. Oh, 10 so out of good. 10, so good. Yeah. And then I would agree the Coca Van was also a 10 out of 10. The potato was great. Yeah, the potatoes were potatoes. so Can good. I the just like have little a boat of potatoes. potatoes. Right? <laughs> Agreed. Uh, I think we're going to try Brazil next. Okay. Okay. At Brazil, we picked up the crispy pork belly and then the Brazilian cheesy bread. So we just tried the Brazilian cheese bread and the pork belly. We all shared the cheese bread. So good. Five? Five. Five out of five. Judy, pork belly? Ten out of ten. I would agree. Phenomenal. Both great. Highly recommend. <laughs> After Brazil, we headed over to Japan and tried the teriyaki chicken bun, the tempura shrimp sando, and the spicy hako sushi. And we also enjoyed a lemon drop. Sushi for me, two and a half, three out of five. The aioli or whatever was on the top, I don't think went with it very well. Uh, the sushi. There's something off. Yeah, something was off about it, but the bow was great. And then you guys had the shrimp and you liked the shrimp, right? Okay. It's a little bit more like sauce on Yeah. But the lemon drop, five out of five for me. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would recommend. After Japan, we stopped at an American adventure for what we call a little nap break before we continued on through the rest of the pavilions. Then we headed towards Spain to try the paella and the charcuterie, neither of which were what I was hoping they would be. It was nice to try, but I wouldn't order any of them again. We just finished our Spanish treats at the Spain booth. We tried the charcuterie and the paella. And the charcuterie, honestly, I'd give it like a two out of five. Two out of ten. Two, oh, two out of ten. <laughs> two out of ten. And the paella, I'd say a three, because it was not authentic, but the flavor was good. Yeah, the shrimp yeah. was cooked well. Yeah, it was decent. The flavor was there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> After Spain, we stopped into the Germany Pavilion at the Werther's Caramel store. I'm sure there's a better name, but that's all I can pronounce. <laughs> um, for as many times as I've been to Disney World, I'm so surprised I did not discover this place earlier. They have amazing treats and make caramel corn with the Werther's Caramel and other treats with the caramels, and they are so good. I'll show you a sneak peek of the treats at the end.
after finishing our walk around the Epcot pavilions, we headed towards the front of the park to head back to our hotel to have dinner. Because we have a kitchen in our room, we just decided it was better and more cost efficient for us to enjoy breakfast and dinner there every day. And these are the treats we tried. We tried the caramel corn, a uh, gingerbread cookie sandwich with caramel, and then a uh, caramel apple oatmeal cookie, and they were all amazing. Good evening, friends. Tonight, a special magic rolls through Spaceship Earth. The magic of possibilities. We gather together as our sparks ignite the glistening stars creating a beacon that shines out in celebration of 50 years of the most magical place on Earth. After we finished dinner, we headed back into the park to enjoy a couple more rides. Uh, we wanted to enjoy the extra magic hours that were available for the guests that were staying on property and it was nice to enjoy the park with less people in it. After riding the Grand Fiesta Tour in the Mexico Pavilion, we headed over to get spots for the fireworks. I didn't film it, but if you want to see it, you can find a video on YouTube. It was amazing. We also enjoyed some maple popcorn from the Canada Pavilion and some Belgian waffles. I have beef with Elsa. <laughs> Frozen after, ever after is not a water ride. <laughs> I did not get on there to get my butt soaked. Soggy bottom. <laughs> Soggy bottom on everyone. Soggy butts. There's no warning <laughs> at all. And I'm not happy about it. Elsa, I have beef with you. We need to discuss why my butt is wet. <laughs> at least give me some warning or something. <laughs> so therefore, I'm giving warning to all future writers of Frozen Ever After. You will get wet. There's no you may, you will. Everyone will get wet. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning! Going to Hollywood Studios today. We have our Fast Pass for Rise of the Resistance later. But now I'm mainly concerned with finding these breakfast tots when we get inside the park because I've heard they're amazing. Tots, tots, tots. Can't go wrong with a good morning snack. Uh, you can never go wrong with tots. Exactly! When we first entered Hollywood Studios, we headed straight back to Toy Story Land because as I mentioned, I was obsessed with finding these breakfast tots that I had seen online. So we headed over to Woody's Lunchbox. Now for us, I know there have been available in the past on mobile order, but they were not for us. So we just went ahead and waited in line and grabbed one order of the breakfast tots and one of the seasonal Pop-Tarts.
they were both delicious. After our mid-morning snack, we kind of just wandered around the park. We noticed that this was the most frustrating day for us in terms of how many people were actually in the park. There were so many people everywhere crammed into little corners and it really made it difficult for us to like enjoy anything and all the ride times were above 45 minutes or more for almost anything. So we ended up kind of biting the bullet and waiting a full 120 minutes for Slinky Dog, which I'm glad we did. It was great to ride at least once and I loved it. While we were waiting in line, we went ahead and mobile ordered our lunch at ABC Commissary. Mickey's lunch. Yummy. Delicious. Yeah. Now we're in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I have my timer going. See how long it goes. It says 65 minutes, but they've been a little overestimating with all of their wait times so far this trip since I've timed all of them. So we shall see. We just got off Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and I've ridden the great movie ride which is what this was originally and I was really sad that they took away took it away but honestly this was so cute <laughs> I really loved it <laughs> all of it was so cute the technology was great that trackless ride system is something that is just such a good addition to the storytelling of attractions I really hope that they add it to more rides in the future but overall, highly recommend it. seeing a full video any spoilers whatsoever and I'm so glad I loved it what about you oh my god so cool so good so cool loved it and we Judy and I are not Star Wars people at all mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was amazing true Star Wars fan here it's just the best, the best. oh my god <laughs> and I have not watched a single thing I would wait in line for that 100% again. 100% yeah. so good after using our fast pass for Rise of the Resistance, we finished wandering around Batuu here because I've been to Batuu in Disneyland and the one in Hollywood Studios is laid out completely differently, so I wanted to see the differences. Uh, so we just wandered around, take a look at everything, and then grab some snacks on the way out of the park before heading home for the evening. 